Do you like the golf cart? Do you like to go slow or fast? Hey, good morning everybody. It's um, like 7 o'clock and um, I came to my shop early and I brought my what's going to be my daughter's quad for Christmas. I was in the storage unit checking it out in the daylight and like they always say, you know, don't buy anything at night like a car or something like that and I found out why, of course. I bought lots of quads in the past, dozens over all the years, lots of dirt bikes. Um, so I have, I'm pretty good at checking them out thoroughly for things that count, but I've never come across this. So if you look at these pictures, you'll see that the, what I thought were just some bent bars when I first rode it, because when I made right turns, the handlebar was touching my leg, and when, my, when I made left turns, uh, there was a lot of clearance there. Um, well, getting a better look at it during the daylight when I was in the storage unit doing some stuff, I saw that it was actually the steering stem is bent so I brought it up here to uh, see if we can straighten it and if I can't straighten it to my satisfaction I'm gonna get another one and stick it in there and then I'm gonna swap out the uh, wheels and tires because the wheels and tires that are on it like I said before are off the kids dad's racing quad so they're just beat to death but the rest of the quad is pretty clean so new tires and wheels um, I found a full set of four black wheels four stock tires um, the ones that are on it now are oversized and they look kind of corny and the, ge the gearing is really tall so um, anyway it's Tuesday the 12th and had a productive weekend figuring out the air conditioning on the back and can't wait to get that going again this weekend so so in order to work on this we got it in here on a dolly right Big Adam oh yeah we just squeeze it in through the bathroom here We just squeeze it in through the bathroom. <laughs> Bring it in like this. We're gonna flop her down and work on her, huh? All right, so first thing we did was we swapped out the wheels and tires. Um, got a good deal on them. Uh, if you wanna know where, just send me a message there on the, post a note under the video and I'll tell you where I got them. Anyway, uh, we'll take off those lame little white labels and that'll be step number one on refurbishing this thing. I have plastics coming. I have a new clutch lever coming. I have a new steering stem coming because you can tell it's it's not perfectly centered. And then uh, I have new lenses coming because those are all cheesed out. And then I'll go through and detail it, tighten that chain a little bit, and I drop the oil in the filter, and then uh, she'll be ready to go. everybody it's well it's noon Saturday the 16th of December and I just want to do a quick update first of all um, getting a lot of cool um, private messages and stuff a lot of people picking up on the videos and a friend of mine said you should go post them in places because you never know who might want to watch them I'm basically doing this to provide a little bit of a, a historic journal of uh, building this camper with my youngest boy and then getting to enjoy camping and riding again as I've mentioned many times before that we did experience for many years and kind of put it on the shelf back you know, like 2014 I think we sold everything uh, and so anyway without going over all that again um, that's really why I'm documenting all this but 
yeah, I guess a lot of people like seeing build videos. So I'm having a ton of fun doing it, having a ton of fun making the videos. And it'll be cool to look back in five, ten years and even further for my kids to just see uh, this experience. So thanks for all the cool comments. Um, today I'm going to try to continue where we left off with the air conditioning setup. I'm not sure how I'm going to box it in. I'm not sure how it's going to end up. I'm literally starting from scratch. I did zero research during the week. I was so busy at work, but got to sleep in a little bit today, get some rest. Uh, again, it's about noon Saturday, so I'm going to yank it out of here, get these cars out of the way, and start working on it. So, here we go. Hi. Are we building a play... Does this say Fisher Price? No, it says... Are we building a playhouse? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I might go to get out as well. Yeah, that's right. So, uh... Eric, I got a good buddy. That's an AC guy. That's what he does for a living. And I just checked with him, and I wasn't sure if you were allowed to box the sides. And I know this needs to breathe exhaust here, so I'm gonna make figure this out. Not gonna go with the sliding door. I think I'm just gonna go with a very loose louvered vent here. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. Maybe I'll make it so if I need to, I can take that thing off. I don't plan on camping in 100 plus degree weather. Mostly winter camping where it might be 80, 85 tops and Glamis Rocketeer or something like that on a warm, warm winter day. But that sucker is tight as a drum, good to go for there. Now I'm gonna start boxing it in like we've been talking about 50 times. So here we go. Hey everybody, it's uh, Sunday night, or no, it's... Saturday night. Hey everybody, it's Saturday night. And uh, been working since 12, it's now about 5.15 and okay so it doesn't look like we got a whole lot more done but I actually did. Uh, I got this framed out here. Um, I had talked about these not being the final boards way in here but those are actually I meant to say finished boards that would hold the plywood. These are the final boards. They're meant for the, solely for the support of the air conditioner. They're still in there. And then these are the finished boards, is what I meant to say. Someone asked me why wouldn't I keep those, because I mentioned the word final. So, um, got that done. I like that. Came out clean. And then this here, I just put this here so when I back it in, I don't hit the little fins on anything. So that's for that. But this is all open still. It's just framed in. And uh, it's boxed in to keep it all going outside, so we are uh, breathing clean and cool air inside, which is going to allow me for a nice big cabinet here. Um, and we're going to frame out another, another cabinet that you can access from the inside here. And I got this all finished there, so I'm really happy with how that came out. It looks, it looks good. Um, so we're getting there. It's only Saturday, and tomorrow I have a, a long day I can work on it. I'm going to stay home in the morning and keep I have working. Party. What's that, son? I have a birthday party tomorrow. Where are you guys going for that birthday party? Get air. Get air? Like a freestyle motocross place? Yeah. Oh. Oh, is it like a big, huge place where they have trampolines and you bounce yeah. off the walls and stuff? Yeah. I'd go, son, but I'd probably take one bounce and break something. Uh, I don't bounce anymore like I was when I was a kid riding dirt bikes. Anyway, there she is. So we're getting close tomorrow. Finally, gonna get to this. <laughs> Say bye, buddy. Bye. Hey, good morning. So it's uh, Sunday morning. I started at about 8 this morning. It was in the low or mid 30s. And uh, the wind kicked up and it's freezing out here. But I am gonna work. So. Starting to do the build out there. Just wanted to update you guys, let you see how it's going. I'm about to connect the top and then start framing it in and trying to figure out where to go from there. So it's coming along good, back to work.
Okay, it's almost five o'clock and the sun's going down and I wrapped it for the day. I really wanted to get the whole thing plywooded. Um, I did get all, all the sides, but I didn't get the roof. So I got all these weird cuts in there, those weird sections, those add-ons. Got all this, it was already done, of course. Got the front done, got the bottom done, got this side done, and the back is all done. So we did tow it around. We towed it around tonight after we were uh, done wrapping up and we towed it around for probably a couple miles. I just watched it back there. To me, it feels a little uh, tongue light because of the AC hanging off the back. So anything else I do, toolboxes, fuel tanks, whatever, I'm gonna do all on the front. Of course, you want some tongue weight with the trailer so you don't get the, the wheelie and the wag going on back there. Anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, sun's going down, we're out of here.